what is an offer in my circle when i am working on offers an offer is simply a solution to someone's problem and your ability to craft an offer will determine how much money you make we're going to cover the core pillars of the millionaire offer framework okay and when i share this you know people always ask me can I do this? Do I need to be tech experienced? Do I need to have a lot of money? Do I need to, I don't know, they always seem to come up with some sort of excuse or, or story in their head. But, you know, do I need special skills? Do I need to be technical? And the answer is no. Okay. If you can follow step by step, simple instructions, you can do this. In today's day and age, if you don't have an audience of people, then you don't have people's attention. Does that make sense? If you don't have attention, then how do you sell something? So number one thing that you have to understand is the whole game is about getting attention. Write this down. If you don't have get, if you don't get attention, you can have the best product in the world. No one's buying it. A lot of people, from what I've seen, they say to me, you know, I have this great idea, or I want to do this. Most people think if I just create a product, if I just do something, suddenly people are gonna come and give me money. This is not how the world works, okay? You have to create something of value, which is your offer, and then you have to go and get attention. You have to get attention, AKA traffic. You have to have people come to you. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna give you the first world secret, and throughout this, I'm gonna share with you different pillars. So the first world secret and the core pillar of the millionaire framework is you have to have a valuable offer. If you don't have a valuable offer, no one's coming to give you their time. If they don't give you the time, you do not have any opportunity to influence them and build rapport with them so that you can offer your products and services. Does that make sense? Okay, the faster that you can internalize and understand this, the faster you're going to be able to make lots of money. So my team, my family members will tell you, I don't think I'm the smartest. So it's not because I read more books than you. It's because I've put myself, and you want to write this down, okay? Because this is what I believe you have to understand, which is you have to be in the right environment. If you're not making 50 grand a month, even 10 grand a month, reality is most of your people in your circle don't make that sort of money. Does that make sense? You know, I remember there's a guy called Tom Billu. He built this company called Quest Nutrition and he sold it for like a billion dollars and he makes YouTube videos. And in one of the videos, he said, when they did the studies of all the people, the kids that became successful and the kids that struggled in life, okay, there was one significant thing. And, and guess what it was? It wasn't their parents. It wasn't how much they studied. It wasn't what they looked like. It wasn't how many followers they had on TikTok. Okay. What it was, was their environment. Okay. And he basically said it was their postcode. So doesn't matter where you live right now, you have to understand and you have to accept that if you don't change and if you don't create, take new actions, you become the result of your environment. Does that make sense? Whoever you surround yourself with, that's who you become like. Whoever you learn from, that's essentially what you, what you create. So if you want to learn offers, I've made offers that have made me, like I said, a million dollars in a single day. That was $1.3 million. Russell Brunson paid me one day, one offer, okay? And by the way, that was pretty much all profit. So it's not like gross sales or, you know, some people, they'll tell you about their e-commerce numbers, all that be nonsense. This is like real hardcore profits in the bank, okay? All right, first thing first, when it comes to offers, okay, what is an offer? What is an offer? In my circle, when, when I am working on offers, an offer is simply a solution to someone's problem. And your ability to craft an offer will determine how much money you make. Are you guys getting this? If you want to make a million dollars a year, 
What are the systems that you have to put in place? Okay, so let me walk you through this here. So, so this is your best thinking equals your best results. Okay, so right now you have to shift your thinking. We talked about this to create your new results. Okay, number two, if you want to attract premium clients, what do you have to do? You have to be a premium person. If you hate expensive stuff, you're going to hate selling expensive products. Yes or no? Okay. If you, if you want to have that shift, you have to become a product of the product. Meaning, if you want to charge high ticket prices, you have to become a person that's capable of investing high ticket into yourself. Yes or no? I'm going to also share with you a framework that I use, which is called low ticket marketing versus high ticket marketing. As you can see, we've done this multiple times. So I'm just going to open up. This is the first framework. Okay. First framework, LTM versus H T M. Okay. Low ticket marketing is anything that's a hundred dollars or less. Okay. So for example, I'm just going to pick on one person here. Let's just say Jessica. Okay. Jessica will, this is how naturally humans are. Okay. They, they basically, this is how they think. So I'm not right about a lot of things, but I'm right about human behavior. Why? Because I mean, you get, you get to make millions of dollars after you understand human behavior. Does that make sense? Okay. Like my, I don't know how to run Facebook ads, YouTube ads, how to build funnels. By the way, we've sold like 1000 funnels. I have never ever built a single funnel in my entire life. Do you guys get that? Okay. So you guys, you guys get that? Okay. Yeah. I do not know how to build a single funnel whatsoever. I like barely know how to use zoom. I have to have somebody always set me up with a camera and, a, and an iPad on all, all, all sorts of stuff. Okay. So the people that make the most amount of money, they understand human behavior. Here's how human behavior works. When someone like Jessica, they see someone winning awards, they think, oh my gosh, Shakir won all these awards. End result. I want to win, end result. So I'm going to just copy what he does. <coughs> Here's the thing. If you copy me doing a 5D challenge, you're probably going to lose ten to $20,000. Why? Because you don't know how the 5D challenge works. Does that make sense? Okay. But because you see, so a lot of people, they see influencers that have hundred thousand followers on, you know, Instagram or a million followers on Instagram. And they think I have to just copy that person. If that person is doing it, then surely it makes sense. But the reality is it doesn't work like that. Okay. Why does it not work like that? Because you don't see all you see is the front end. You don't see what's on the back end. Okay. The back end is where the money is made. So for example, if you try to just copy me doing a 5d challenge and let's just say I spend, you know, $20,000 on a 5d challenge. If you just copied this, but you don't understand the back end, most likely, you're going to lose $20,000. Do you guys get that? So one of the things that we have to always understand when we're doing any sort of campaigns, any sort of digital marketing is we have to understand the two step process, which is the front end and the back end, right? This time. So low ticket marketing is fine. If you have a lot of cash, okay. If you are cash rich, then you can sell stuff. Like I'll give you an example. One of my students, lovely lady. I hope she's not here. She's from America and you know, she wants to make lots of money on the internet, right? Very intelligent. She's bought lots of different programs. And then the other day she sent me a message saying, Hey, I just launched my journal on Amazon. And I'm like, okay. Like, did you sell any? And she's like, yeah. Like, and she sold like five copies, her friends and family boy. 
And I'm like, how much is this journal? And it's like 20 bucks. Okay. So you go that, done all this effort and then you just made a hundred bucks. Is there a good chance she's going to quit very soon? I tell you, she's going to quit very soon. Okay. Now I will have a call with her next week and I will do an intervention and tell her, do not sell low ticket stuff until you have your financial needs sorted. Does that make sense? Are we on the same page? Jessica, is this making sense to you? So in the beginning, what you have to do is you have to come up with an offer, okay? Instead of low ticket marketing, you have to do something that is high ticket marketing, which is here, okay? HTM. What is high ticket marketing? Selling something for $1,000 to $10,000. And this is what we specialize our clients do, okay? How do you sell this? And it has to be digital. Okay. So why does it have to be digital? Because we want to have high profit margins, high profit margins. Now, so remember, this is the foundation, the offer plus the funnels. And if you have this and this right, then it's easy to get traffic. Okay, traffic comes easy to you and then you're able to make a lot more money. Okay, so the way you have to look at it is the funnels is essentially your shop. Okay, just like your local shop, your groceries, whatever, corner shop that you have in your local city or your local town, okay? The offer is your products. And traffic is people. Are you guys following? Okay, now most people, what they're trying to do is they are, they have a funnel that doesn't really work, okay? Why? Because it doesn't have the right offer and because they don't have these two things in, in the same, they, these two things optimized or dialed in and it's working, okay? They struggle to get customers, which is traffic. How many of you, this is the first time that you've joined one of my challenge by a show of hands? Okay, the majority of people that will join this challenge, this is gonna be the first time ever. Why is it that you are traffic here, okay? You are traffic, which is people. You came in and took my offer here. Why? Into my funnel. The reason is you got interested in my stuff. Okay, you got interested, which is traffic. You got interested because I had the right offer for you. Does that make sense? Okay, so people, which is traffic, plus your offer, which we also know as your products or your conversion funnel. Okay, if you have a bad conversion funnel, then no one's gonna buy. So traffic and conversions equals cash. Okay? And the process that this comes under is what we refer to as a funnel. Okay, so let's just say you have one funnel and it makes you $10,000 a month. If you have a second funnel and that second funnel now makes you $50,000 a month. If you have a third funnel and now that funnel makes you 200 grand a month, before you know it, by the end of the year, that's now producing multiple millions. Yes or no? Let's go over, so this was the absolute basic foundation. Then I'm gonna go over this part, which is, let's go over here, okay? This is what we call the perfect business model, okay? Selling high ticket offers, selling high ticket offers. The perfect business model, especially for 2024, okay? And there's a couple of components, but we'll go through it. I'm gonna just give you guys an example. 
First, we have to identify who is going to buy our products and services. Okay, so for example, my ideal client is someone who is 35 to around 55. Okay, 35 plus. The reason why my, most of you here, you're not going to be 20 years old is because my ads don't target 20 year old brokies. Okay, or young kids. Are you guys getting this? Okay, if someone is like, Usually, okay, someone said they're 24. All right, kid, I get it. Uh, you can stay. So most of the time, a 24-year-old, no offense, doesn't have 20000 or 50000 dollars to buy our products and services. Does that make sense? So we have to, you rather have 10 right fit prospects than 10,000 wrong, wrong clients. Yes or no? Okay, or two. Like, some people, they think, oh, do I need to get like 1 million Instagram followers? Guys, I know people that have 500,000 YouTube subscribers, 500,000 YouTube subscribers, and they don't even make $5,000 a month. I know Instagram influencers, girls that you probably follow. If you're a lady, you probably follow some of these girls, okay? I know you, all right? On Instagram, they do makeup stuff, they do beauty stuff. Okay, some of these ladies, 500k a million instagram followers and they don't even make ten thousand dollars a month just think about that you might be like oh my gosh if they just promote something everyone's gonna buy it no it doesn't work like that okay you have to have the right ideal prospect which is your who and then you have to have the right what what are you offering and then where are your clients at so if we stop this and we go back to three golden keys to your offer okay what is it that you want to sell and some of you are like, I have no idea what to sell. Don't worry about it. We will help you during the classes and on your one-on-one -on -one call, okay? So for now, what is it that you want to sell? So for example, let's just say I want to sell a, I don't know, a funnels agency service, okay? By the way, if you don't have anything to sell, if you're like totally brand new, we, are, we have a business in a box, funnels agency uh, slash, slash marketing agency that we just give to our clients and you can sell. So for example, like if Jessica, I don't know what your offer is, Jessica, but let's just say Jessica it, um, said, hey, I don't have anything to sell. Can you help me come up with something to sell? Then we would say, okay, you know what? We have a program which is called Funnels Agency Service and all you do, we would set up your entire business for you and when people come in to buy a funnel or any marketing service, then you get to collect, say, $5,000, and then you outsource all of the work for maybe one or $2,000. Does that make sense? And now you make $3,000 profit. If you just got five measly clients, which is pretty easy to do on a monthly basis, that's 15 grand a month. Does that make sense? Okay, how many of you think 15 grand a month is a good start for your new high ticket business? By the way, this is how I started. A lot of people think, how did I get started? I tried to do every single thing under the sun. My first business model that made me cash flow was actually the agency model. Okay, I found this one dude who was a Google Ads expert. Back then, Google Ads was the rage. You know, today we have Instagram and stuff, but I'm from the world they used to do Google PPC ads, okay? Which is still hot, by the way. But I, would, I found someone and the guy charged like five grand a month. And I literally just said to him, hey, I don't know anything about Google ads, but if I sell your service uh, like an affiliate, do you think you can give me two and a half grand a month back? He was like, no, but I can give you like 1500 a month or something like that. Okay. So I was like, overnight, I was like, oh my gosh, I go like a few clients and I started making money. Once I started getting cash flow from that, then I started doing stuff like affiliate marketing and list building and whatnot. The first goal every single person should have is you have to get into a cash flow positive business model okay and what that entails is a business model that can realistically help you make at least six thousand dollars to say 15k per month okay so let's just say for jessica is going to be a funnels agency service who is going to be her ideal customer let's say start do you use instagram what do you use facebook instagram what do you use just type in just type to me Okay, let's just say FB. So you're gonna help start up women entrepreneurs. 
okay basically get the first funnel okay where are those customers are they on linkedin are they in your local city are you gonna go meet them at starbucks where are you gonna go you're gonna find them on facebook okay so you want to get very clear this is what i'm gonna sell this is what i'm gonna sell it to where are these customers so for example i spend the majority of my time either on like marketing on youtube facebook or instagram instagram like for more for personal stuff but mainly on facebook and youtube okay and even today i'm like you know what i don't just spend any time on facebook all of my attention just needs to go on youtube because that's where i'm going to get the highest roi does that make sense and so if i go to youtube i'm very clear on youtube who's my ideal target market someone that's 35 plus they have some sort of expertise experience they have some intelligence they've gone through life and now they want to package up their information into a high ticket program does that make sense now if you turn around to me and you're like hey i want to sell pens you know unless you're going to charge 500 dollars or a thousand dollars for a pen i don't want to help you i'm sorry i can't help you i don't want that's not my niche does that make sense okay and by the way obviously i'm also i, I do understand I'm, I'm very blessed i'm in a position where i can pick and choose who to work with which clients to choose to work with right so if, when you're starting off in the beginning people think oh i need to start and i need to take on any client but what happens when you take on any client and they suck your soul then you just want to quit yes or no who's been there done that okay i've been there done that that's why i don't do it anymore okay so so let's just say write down five fears that you currently have that's achieving you from your dreams you know let's just say let's just do this together and I want to hear from you guys, right? Like, okay, Shuaib Timimi says, fear of judgment. Okay, fear of judgment. Okay, what else? What else is another fear? I want to hear from you guys. Type into the chat box, fear of inadequacy. Okay, fear of basically not feeling enough. This is a huge problem uh, people have, you know, fear of not being enough. Uh, fear of rejection okay fear of rejection like oh my gosh like what is you know my school friends gonna think of me okay um don't have enough confidence that i'm worthy enough okay fear of loss of investment right absolutely because sometimes people have invested in courses and coaches and mentors and the wrong gurus and then they realize hey i haven't got anywhere okay so fear my community cannot afford the high ticket so that's a belief or a fear that your customers your customers may not be able to afford the programs okay fear of neighbors comment okay fear that people won't see the value what else is there let me know fear of missing out fear of not being enough imposter syndrome wow okay let me know joseph says fear of the unknown okay let me know uh, success is scary okay wow success is scary okay now if you're scared of something you know one of my mentors a guy called grumpy old dan kennedy i can say that because he calls himself grumpy old dan kennedy and grumpy old dan kennedy would always say scared money don't make money okay even me sometimes i have to come up with fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars you know i have bills and taxes and you know stuff that i have to make money for then i have to always remind myself you gotta get into a state because scared money doesn't make money does that make sense okay like i want to hire someone on my team and i realize wow that that role is going to be like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars for basically like a ceo slash to replace me and i'm thinking like 200 grand a year for a role is pricey like who am i supposed to get i'm like what if it doesn't work out then i'm like okay scared money doesn't make money do you understand this is an internal affirmation that i tell myself yes or no right it's, it's that and, and by the way once you have these habits these what i call millionaire success habits you can translate them into other areas of your life yes or no next one your message right so let's just say we will help you you know craft an offer and by the way during these five days you, you'll see how each day builds on the next okay so the next one is 
your message is all about being able to cut directly through the noise and communicate specifically what it is that you do and how. Okay, okay so here's the framework, okay? So, who do you help? How do you help them? Okay? So, I help struggling marketers get to 10K per month in 30 days without building their funnels. Okay? Here's the framework. I help X, XYZ person achieve this result. Okay? And then in XYZ time. So, for example, Jessica, let's just say I help, um, you're American, right? So let's just say, I help American women, that's your audience, achieve, um, get leads, get 20 leads per day. That's the result. How? In just 30 minutes a day without approaching friends and family. Okay? So they can feel XYZ feelings. So you... You can play around with this, and I'm going to give this to all of you here now. 